Smash Bros. can literally take a Pokemon with a base stat of 320 and make it the best character in the game. Made me think about how many characters in Smash I could actually take in real life, and so here we are, tier list time. Before we get started, this is a fair 1v1 street fight, so no weapons, okay? Any abilities you were born with, sure, you know, we'll let it slide, but no, you know, arrows, or swords, or missiles, or axes, or whips. You get the point. Here we have the easy clap tier where it's like a free win, fellas, basically. Like, I can take him free. 50-50 for when it's a tie. Not as obvious, you know, it could be either way. And then GG's where it's just not even, not even close. And that's probably gonna be the biggest list. Let's start with that one. Oh, hell no. Nah. Gorilla, bro, I'd get destroyed. King Tiger Fire Pokemon, it's over. Big ass Crockett, no, the, the Chomp, bro, it's over. Ganon's fucking jacked. It's I have no shot. ZSS is like 6'3, 200 pounds without the suit. Snake would literally be the Gorilla Warfare meme. 300. He'd kill me in 300 different ways. Ken? Ryu? Where's fucking Terry? Let me just get the. Oh, Kazuya? The four actual martial artists. Yeah, let's not even entertain it. Oh, Bowser would eat me. Ridley would probably also eat me. Bro, I don't even want to imagine what Sephiroth would do. Sonic, I couldn't I can't even touch him. It's over. Yeah, easy win against for Sonic. Falcon is probably the most fit one here. Like, there's no shot. Mewtwo, hell nah. The audacity to think I could even potentially take Mewtwo. Kirby would annihilate me. Not, like he's probably the one that would beat my ass hardest out of he wouldn't even beat my ass. He'd just consume me. And it'd just be over. And I it was it's like falling in a black hole. Like you don't even feel it. You're done. Min Min is like trained in fighting. Yeah, she comes from a fighting game, bro. Yeah, no, she she she'd kick my ass free. Little Mac. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Little Mac. Oh, even worse. Bayonetta's like eight feet tall, right? Yeah, no, there's there's no shot. I can take someone with that's eight fucking feet. Okay, and I think that's it for the most part right now with GG's. You know, like, just easy, like, no question they'd murder me. Let's move on to other ones. Here we have Joker from Persona 5. I want to put him in close win. Joker's just a regular- he has no Arsene. Unless we're fighting in the metaverse, which we're not. I said street fight, like, it's a normal ass fight. It's just me versus a, a high school kid. Okay, th granted, there is one part in Persona 5 where Joker gets fucking ja like. He becomes a martial artist, basically. He kicks ass. Maybe at this point, I'd be a little scared of Joker. But overall, like, for 90% of the game, I think I could take Joker. Ice Climbers, two children. Oh, easy clap. Would murder them. It's like that question, how many five-year-olds could you take at once? Definitely, I could definitely take two five-year-olds. Lucas. He is another child, but he does have psychic powers. I feel like those would hurt. How bad are his powers? Like, is he really, really strong? He uses sticks and baseball bats as his weapon. Okay, not allowed right off the bat. Along with signature PK love power? Which grants him the ability to pull the seven needles to awaken the dark dragon sleeping underneath the... Alrighty, Lucas, let's just put you down here. Next we got Ike. Okay, so this is... Ch like, I would normally put Ike in GG's. However, this is little baby Ike sprite that they have instead of, you know, big daddy Ike, which would easily destroy me. So, because it's little baby Ike, we'll put him in close loss. You know, I'm sure he's trained and shit, even without the sword. So, close loss for now. Next we have Simon. I Simon was tough for me. I was gonna put him in GG's, but it's like, I feel like he's not that crazy, right? Like, physically wise, he's not a fucking beast. Okay, he's 6'1", 192 pounds. It's kind of a beat. Okay, he's 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 tanky. He but he wouldn't murder me like the others would. Look at that lawful good. He'd have mercy. Okay, so he's he's a good guy. I I I'd put him in close loss. It wouldn't be close. Never mind. Yeah, I mean I'm just gonna swallow my pride. It just it just looks so big already. We just started and there's already over two rows. Okay, quick ego boost. Olimar, I would squash like a bug and it feels so good. So him him I definitely destroy. He's like three inches tall. Inkling, also a child, basically, you know, they're like, what, like 14 or something? I can just spit on them, and that probably already causes like so much damage to them, so yeah, nah, GG's. Billy, same thing, he's just a dude, and honestly, his eyes are big, I could poke them really easily, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be over pretty fast, fellas. Jigglypuff goes here as well, I've popped many balloons, fellas. Okay, I'm feeling a little better now, let's, let's look at the other tough ones. <laughs> okay, Duck Hunt? I feel wouldn't be a easy clap, you know, it'd be- I feel like it'd be a close win, cause it's a dog, you know, like they can bite and they can actually like hurt you if you f*** up. And there's a, there's a duck too, so if the duck distracts me while the dog like bites my leg or something, you know, that would hurt. Like I think at the end of the day I'd win, but it wouldn't be easy, you know, it wouldn't be just like a 1-2, I'd have to- yeah, so we'll put him in, in, in close win. Shulk. 
Without the Monado, he's not that, that powerful. Like, he's 18 years old. I think he's like 5'9"? Five, 5'7", nine? Five, 140 pounds. Okay, Shulk is a wet noodle, basically. So, close win. Nah, it'd be, it'd be close, you know, not free. Shulk is like, you know, he lives in a military area, so he probably got some moves, you know, taught by Ryan, but... And for reference, I'm 5'11", 175 pounds, so those are the stats we're working with here. Diddy Kong? I feel like I'd lose, right? Because, okay, chimpanzees are really, really strong, but he's not a chimpanzee. What are you, Diddy Kong? He's like a monkey. Okay, so Diddy Kong's a spider monkey. Interesting. How strong are spider monkeys? They may weigh up to 20 pounds. That's all I, I, that's all I needed to read. Sorry, Diddy. Canonically, it you'd be in GG's. Even though monkeys are real, like chimpanzees would kick my ass. Little baby monkeys, it's over. Cloud would be a close loss. Like he wouldn't murder me. You know, he has no sword. Uh, but he's like he was trained by the military and stuff. Like he's a mercenary. He'd he'd probably kick my ass. Same idea with Krom, really. You know, he's a, he's a beast. You know, leads is, has been in armies. I've I've never been in an army. Steve Minecraft. He'd probably be the same idea. Okay, I give a little bit more respect to Steve. He's not easy clap like, you know, villager who also can't talk and do shit. But I, I don't know. I, for some reason, I feel like Steve would put up a fight. Link. Okay, this is going to be controversial. I'm going to put him in 50-50. Fellas, you've seen Link, right? Like, he's not a big guy. Okay, if he had a sword, yeah, he'd definitely kick my ass. Even some arrows, but... The thing is, you know, we've seen that that wheel Link has, you know, with stamina. He's not superhuman. He's he gets tired, and so I think it'd be a 50. Like he, I don't think he'd kick my ass, and I don't think I'd kick his ass. Like it'd be close, you know. Lucina's a skilled fighter. I feel like it's fair to put her in close loss, right? Like I don't know how much of a beast she is, but if she's anything like Krom, she's probably a beast. Okay, I looked up their stats. Krom has a strength stat between 9 and 29, anywhere between level 5 and 38. I don't know what that means. And then Lucina has one between 7 and 31 at level 10. So it can vary a lot. You know what? Let's... Okay. Let's just leave her in close loss. You know what? Let's just let's just make things simple. Same thing with Corrin, I guess. And Marth. Robin probably has magic shit. So yeah, they can go in close loss. Same thing with Byleth, fellas. Roy, however, is 15 years old. I refuse to lose to a 15 year old. He's going in 50-50. And that's it for Fire Emblem. Woo! Bowser Jr. without any, like, you know, with any gear or any Mecha Koopas or any, any, like, technology? He's just a regular ass, like, turtle thing. Okay. Take out the regular. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, he can breathe fire, but it's like, have you seen it in the Mario game? They go so slow. He's like, he's a baby. He's like seven years old. I think I could take him. Let's just, okay, let's put him in close wing. To not, yeah, he can, he, he can be, he can breathe fire. So, yeah, I guess it can be close. Mario? Mario, I put it 50-50. Like, we've seen Mario play sports. We have a good idea of how jacked he is, right? You know, he doesn't always knock it out of the park. He's a regular dude for the most part. So, 50-50, because he is kind of crazy sometimes. But overall, I feel like it'd be close. Same thing with Luigi. Doc, though, I'm going to put higher just because he's a nerd, fellas. He's a, he's a freaking doctor. You serious, bro? Young Link I could take. Yeah, like, it's the same idea with Link, but much, like, he's, look, it's young Link. So he's, like, what, like, eight or something? Could definitely take him. Meta Knight, though, I feel it's tough. I don't know if to put him in close win or 50-50, because, like, without the sword, he's just, he's just meta. You know, he's not even Meta Knight anymore. Like, we, we remove his whole identity with the sword. But he can fly and shit, and he's kind of cool. He's probably strong. Okay, let's put him in 50-50. Just, just for, just for argument's sake. Yoshi. I honestly think I'd lose to Yoshi, but it'd be close. But I'd lose to him just because he's like, he's like a dinosaur. Like he's carried, like he's like a horse dinosaur. Like he carries people on his back, like it's no problem. He, he probably has a lot of strength. So yeah, no, we'll put him in close loss. Fox went to a naval academy, but he went there to be a pilot. I don't know if he has hand-to-hand -hand combat training. So I'm gonna put him in 50-50. He is a fox. He has, you know, he could bite me or something and it would really hurt. But I don't think he'd beat my ass. Same thing with Falco, you know, he'd probably like peck me really hard, but that's probably the worst he can do. Wolf though? Wolf would... I feel like he's more... For... It's a fucking wolf, fellas. I'm like, come on. Like, he's definitely more ferocious and terrifying than the other two. Daisy seems like a nice gal, but I feel like it'd be an easy clap, right? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Just because, like, she, I don't think she has any fighting experience. Same thing with Peach. Yeah, nah, nothing special. Okay, Ness. 
I'm scared to look up. He probably has some crazy shit going on. But I'm gonna put him in close loss. Pikachu, easy clap. Like, okay, we're talking about the game, Pikachu. If we're talking about, like, the show, the, that, that Pikachu, would he'd be GG. He has murdered so many Pokemon. He's electrified rock types. How do you do that? But the game Pikachu, he's a little baby. You know, 320 base stats. That's probably like what a, a dog has, 320 base stats. Same thing with Pichu, he'd be even even easier clap. Greninja, I want to put in... Nah, he'd probably win, right? Like he is a frog, but it's like he's a big frog. He has water powers. Those are technically not weapons because he can summon them himself. So he'd probably, yeah. He'd probably be able to take me. You saw those shits in, in Detective Pikachu? Oh, that was terrifying. Pokemon Trainer as a unit would probably be in GG's. Like, individually, Squirtle would be, you know, easy clap. Then Ivy would maybe be in 50-50. Charizard would be GG's. But the fact he can use all of them? Yeah, as a unit, I, I would be, he would be GG's. Pac-Man. What the fuck does Pac-Man, like, in this form? What it is, who, what is he? I don't know if he's, like, really tiny. I'm gonna put him in close win. I don't respect them enough to put them in 50-50. Plant, I feel, would be in close win, honestly, right? Because, okay, think about it this way. The plant can't move. They are stuck in one spot. So I have an advantage in knowing exactly where to strike. And they have a very obvious pattern. You know, they come back and come up. And so if I just sneak attack it, you know, it'll never see me coming. Isabel, I've been avoiding ranking for a while because I really didn't want to imagine having to beat Isabel's ass, but... Here we are, fellas. F frankly, it'd be an easy clap. I'd murder that dog. Zelda has magic powers that Link over here does not. Link only protects her because he has weapons at his disposal, and he's really good at using weapons. I'd put her in close loss, just, for, just to be safe. Another one I'm not sure about is Paolo. She's a goddess, technically, but she doesn't fight, really, right? Like, as far as I know, she just tells Pit what to do for the most part. So I'm just going to put her in close loss. For Pit, I want to put him in 50 50 because yeah you know he's like an army guy like he fights and stuff but he has weapons okay fine close loss it's, uh, dude i don't want to admit i lose to a 13 year old are you kidding me that's so embarrassing game and watch i genuinely i i'm gonna put him in easy clap because it just brings me satisfaction thinking i could beat this shit out of game and watch same thing with rob he's literally a plastic piece of shit just gotta go like lucario would i don't think he'd murder me like mewtwo he'd be he's Maybe he would. Maybe he would. Let's put him in GG's. So Pyra and Mithra, they seem to know how to fight, but they're like supercomputers, I think? They probably win. Yeah, because like, think about it. If they're super, they can just analyze my movements. Yeah, I think, yeah. It'd be a, I don't think they'd murder me, but it'd be a close loss. King DDD being a lard-ass penguin is very tough because he seems very out of shape. I'm going to put him in close loss. I don't, I don't respect him enough to put him in GG's, you know? Like, I feel like he'd be here. Richter, I'm also gonna put him in GG's. He'd probably, yeah, he, if Simon's here, Richter might as well be here too. She, same tier as Zelda? Because if she needed to, she'd also use the magic if she needed to. Okay, Rosa is a goddess. She's really tall, but I feel like she's not jacked or anything. She's never, like, never depicted as super strong or anything. Like, but besides being able to control Lumas, then I, I think it'd be in a good place. I think, yeah, yeah, 50-50 seems fair. Toon Link, also easy clap, child. Toon Link, yeah. Wario seems to be in... I'd put him in 50-50. Like, yeah, he has guns that he likes showing off. But at the same time, I feel like if he exerts any physical activity, he'll have a stroke or something. Like, he looks very out of shape. <laughs> Dark Pit, I'm also putting in close law. Same idea with Pit. Banjo and Kazooie is literally a duck hunt, but on steroids because it's a fucking bear instead of a dog so yeah no i'd lose this fight free like if banjo was an actual bear like easily would be in ggs but he looks like a humanoid bear so it's not the same i don't know if he has the same strength as a regular bear i don't know i'm gonna put him in close loss just because they seem a little too cartoony to be like deadly so yeah, we'll put him here. Hero i'm also putting here because it's like he has magic powers right like he honestly would probably be in ggs Anyone that can use magic, it's pretty much an instant loss on my end. We Fit, I also think, would be close loss. They're clearly very in shape. Like, they'd run laps around me, and so... It would... I don't think I'd get my ass murdered, but it they'd probably win. And then the Mies, I'm gonna put them in easy clap. Because unlike Steve, I do not respect them, so here they lie. And here's the list, fellas. This is everyone in the game from GG's to easy clap. I think this is pretty unbiased list. You know, like I try to be fair, swallowed my pride a bit. It hurts sometimes, but we did it. Anyway, if you liked it, let me know. 
Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, like, yada yada. You know how it be. Thanks for watching, fellas. I'll catch you later. See ya!